Nerva's social policies focused on the people as being the populist and on the senators, a repudiation of Domitian. Through his partnership with the Roman Senate, they implemented laws that would have an effect not only on Nerva but more on Trajan. What were Nerva's first acts? What was his policy on giving land? What were the alimenta and the misconceptions? What did he do for funerals, marriage, and castration? What were the various projects continued and completed? What about the Senate's role? Find out today on Roman history, pensions, one of his first acts was to give donatives of 75 denarii to eligible citizens in the city of Rome, Elkins 54. It was common to give money to the people to show his support. He gave the army the congiarium or pension and a donative. The congiarium was a container that contained up to six sestertiae. According to Hobley's data from 1998, it was most common in Italy, eight coin samples. However, it was 15 years old, so there is a grain of salt. In addition, Nerva's impact affected Rome and Italy, which could bring skepticism to the effect on other provinces. Finally, the evidence came mainly from museums, so there was probably more out there undetected. Agrarian reform Early in his short reign, the Senate passed the Lex Agraria, giving Agar Publicus, free land, to the poorest Roman citizens, Elkins 92. It was a total of 60 million sestertiae. To enforce the law, the senators had to decide on the land, place, cost, and layout. Then, it became plots for farming. Next, the people apply and interview. After getting accepted, they could work there as farmers. The land must have rich, fertile soil to bring sufficient income and crops for the people, while 60 million seems a lot, under Vespasian, the annual tax revenue was 1.2 billion sestertiae. Also, in Italy, the Iogerum, or the Roman unit for land, cost from 5001000 sestertiae. However, in Apulia, it was cheaper. For the lowest buyer, it would have up to 120,000 Iogera, equivalent to around 80,000 acres. If a person bought at a higher price, they received less land. Even so, one Iodurum would hold at least hundreds of people. Alimenta, one of the probable misconceptions of the Alimenta was from Trajan's reign. Despite Nerva's short reign, he implemented it. It was a government welfare program for families with children, specifically poor children. He might have had grain measures because of Trajan's version and the program addressed the population decline to encourage the procreation of children. The urban plebs received grain from the granaries. There were plebs from Interium, getting a grain subsidy for 150. 000 in Rome. Finally, the means to pay for it was an approximate 5% interest on land, family, on funerals, Nerva gave 62.5 denarii to the urban plebs to pay for funeral expenses. He banned castration for males and uncle-niece marriages, possibly due to the rumor of Domitian having an extramarital affair with his niece, Julia. Infrastructure projects, under Nerva, he completed two projects from Domitian, opening the 80s publicy, the People's House, and completing the Forum Transitorium. What was still in progress was the Circus Maximus from fire damage in 80 AD during Emperor Titus, the reconstruction of the former Iulii and of the Temple of Venus Genetrix, Granger 55, the improvements on the Colosseum, and the baths later commemorating Trajan. Nerva undertook road building from Spain, Germania Superior, Pannonia and Asia Minor, Granger 56. There was additional work on two aqueducts in Rome, Anio Navis and Aqua Martia, and he selected Senator Sextus Julius Frontinus as the curator aquarium, water commissioner. He praised Nerva for improving the city with the refinements of the water systems and attacked Domitian for not cleaning up. Finally, there was a granary, the Horia Nervi, and according to Cavadoni, it was for monthly grain distributions, Elkins 59, dot, also, according to Roman civil engineer Sextus Julius Frontinus, Nerva recovered 250,000 sestertiae from the water supply and distributed them to the people for income. Frontinus blamed Domitian for his mismanagement, but no immediate economic crisis in Nerva's reign, 
commissions, the senators formed commissions to study, make recommendations, and enforce the new economic and rural measures. They came from Italia, Italy, and Hispania, Spain and Portugal. The two notable Spanish provinces were Bietica and Narbonensis, two senators collaborating with Nerva. Possibly, there were more, and most came from Italia. Effect, Nerva's policies seemed to strain the finances of the Roman Empire, and Cassius Dio remarked about selling valuables and cutting down on public games and religious sacrifices. Conclusion, Nerva's social policies focused on gaining support, mainly from Italy, and his collaboration with the Roman Senate placated the aristocracy to provide more stability than under Domitian. The power of the plebeian class was still an asset to the emperor's support for the people. The infrastructure projects demonstrated his power and continued the works from the Flavian dynasty, mainly from Domitian.